Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Good morning. <sighs> Welcome back to my home. I've been gone for three weeks. I drove from Indianapolis to California, 5,000 miles, 64 hours of driving. Yeah, it was awesome. I love driving. Uh, there's just something about just being on the road and just not thinking about anything, but like keeping the car on the road and not dying. Phoenix Arizona. Oh, that was so sexy. <laughs> These are some rocks that I brought back from uh, my favorite beach in Malibu. I'm borrowing them, okay, if anybody, the parks department asks. I also brought Olive back a stick. It was my third time back in LA after I had moved out. And the first few times were a little strange for me, a little emotional, I suppose, because I went from living in LA to living in Nashville, Tennessee, and then COVID happened. Then I went through a breakup and then I ended up in my parents' basement. You know, as I've spoken about this an exhausting amount, I feel like on this channel, that it was a weird time for me and for a lot of us. This time, going back to California, revisiting the same neighborhoods and little coffee shops, it felt great. It felt like the shoe fits. It felt like visiting an old friend. It was so cool being able to be back in a city and being in like a very peaceful, positive headspace. Previous visits to LA were kind of like um, trying to relive or um, re-engineer similar experiences I've had. For once in my life, I went to the city and I was ready to create new memories. The world is better that way if we're just a little more open and approaching things with love and not hate. <sighs> I'm also just not used to like how many um, cool and hot people <laughs> are, are in here. We got food, we got beach, we got sun. I feel great. What a great, what a good vibe. I love it here. On the road trip, I remember having canned beans and peanut butter crackers for lunch several times, but luckily I had today's sponsor, AG1, looking after me and making sure that I was getting all my daily nutrients. AG1 is comprehensive daily nutrition made powerfully simple. It's made up of 75 high quality whole food source ingredients, vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. AG1 travel packs make it easy to stay committed to your intentions wherever you are and when you need it most. And when I needed it most was in the middle of Oklahoma and I, there wasn't even a subway around. AG1 supports mental clarity, long-term gut health, and healthy skin and hair. It's an effortless daily habit. Just add one scoop or travel pack to eight ounces of water every day. That's it. We're gonna do a little taste test for you guys. Cheers. It's sweet, it's refreshing, and you're gonna love it. Go to athleticgreens.com slash Marky Miller to get started on your order. AG1 is gonna give you guys a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the show, baby. Mmm, that's some good tea. Speaking of tea, would you like some? When I was in California, I invited a friend of mine to come up to the lake cottage this summer. His boyfriend uh, doesn't like me. His boyfriend and I have never met because we live 2,000 miles apart, so I've never had a chance to properly like dap him up and be like, listen guy, we're not gonna hook up. I respect the boundaries of your relationship, but I understand where he's coming from, and I understand how some people will come into your life, and you're like, I don't know about this person. This person gives me weird vibes. Now, I don't think I give weird vibes, personally, but, I've been in the boyfriend's shoes before. I know what it feels like to distrust your significant other's friend and thinking that friend might have some ulterior motives. I will also say the boyfriend is lovely from what I've heard. My friend and the boyfriend have a very healthy, loving relationship. This is what he's told me. I'm the only one that he's 
controlling with. I don't know if that's the right word, but he's, he's uncomfortable with me in the dynamic and that he's typically very supportive of his, his boyfriend, my friend, to do whatever he pleases. I think the reason I bring this up is because relationships to people, places, and things, nouns, our relationship to nouns are important and they often change over time. Sometimes they start good and they end up in not a great place. In my 20s, I never did a good enough job of checking in with myself and sitting down and being like, hey, these people in this room I'm with, are these people good for me? Does this feel healthy? Or should I exit this situation and maybe find some people that are more suitable for me? And I feel like if I've thought of this or if I'm going through this, possibly, just possibly, some of you are as well. I hope I'm explaining this right. And I'm not trying to paint the boyfriend as a villain here. I'm just using this as kind of like a, as a talking point to say, I love being single. I've really enjoyed the time uh, that I get to spend with myself. Um, I can take a 5,000 mile road trip. I love experiencing life alone. I think it's a beautiful gift you can give yourself. And I love the fact that I don't have to update someone or ask permission from someone to go do things that I'm driven to do. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in really fast and add something to what I was saying earlier. I feel like a challenge amongst same-sex relationships uh, are same-sex friendships. I feel like they can pull and pry at the relationship simply because the nature of us, the nature of humans. Our insecurities often surface at times where we feel like we've like lost control or there's like new unknowns introduced into the situation. A common example used a lot is like in heterosexual relationships, can straight men have girlfriends? And the answer is obviously yes, but you get what I mean. For this year, I had plans of making more fun, light, positive, goofy, silly content. Oh, what should I wear today? My content is very personal. I often document what I'm going through. And if I'm going through something more serious, I'm gonna talk about it. And the light, fun, silly stuff can also happen uh, together. For my feet people, I like them piggies. <laughs> <laughs> it's life, baby, it's life, you know? You gotta figure it out. As it comes into your face, as it comes at you, you have to just figure it out. Unwrap it, like a little gift. I need to, <laughs> one of those little slate things, beep beep. Hey. <laughs> wow, dude, you look so cool. Oh, cool. So cool. Donnie has a strange high tolerance level to things like this where like I normally get sick. Oh my god, headphones now, dude. <laughs> How realistic is it? I just do a little more and I'll stop. Move out with Dude, this is so nuts, dude. Look at the rear view mirror, they're coming! Oh, I have a small box. Oh man, we should just bring the whole box into the theater. Don, hey. Dude, we look up the movie. Almost three hours long, John Wick is gonna be. I heard it's like non stop action, which I'm excited about. Uh, I like action. Yeah. I like action. <laughs> you know what else I like? What? Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> score out of 10. I'm gonna give it an 8. 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10. Hmm, yeah, I'll go 8 1. Do I own John Wick 1, 2, and 3? Yes, I do. Will you own John Wick 4? Uh, I probably will, yeah. Thanks for coming with me to John Wick. Of course, man. Appreciate you. Love you. The question is, am I gonna be, am I gonna be a fatty right now? And just eat my, see I still have a taco. A little hand sanitizer first. Been sitting in my car for a little bit, but it's tofu, so it's okay, baby. <laughs> Give you one more look at that, baby. It's pretty good for a tofu taco. This movie looked amazing. You could tell the budget. They just had tons and tons. They had stacks of bread and cheese and cheddar. Yeah, it was good. A lot of scenes landed for me. Other scenes just dragged on, and I was just like, next. Hope you guys had a great day. Thanks for spending 
10 minutes with me. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, uh, tap the like button down there. It helps me out. And I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Boop. Love to see you. Bye. Boop.